In a galaxy far, far away, just off the M25, lies the Brainiac Space Center, boldly pushing the boundaries of rocket science because there's some stuff NASA never tried. Stuff like, can rockets launch a multi-location waste disposal system up to some distressed space researchers? The rockets, eight cloth touch at 300s. The multi-location waste disposal system, a portable toilet. The distressed space researchers, astronauts, desperate for a poo. Spend any amount of time in space and sooner or later, you're gonna need to launch your very own rectal rocket. But spacemen can't just release their asteroids into the cosmos. They need a proper flushing toilet. Can rockets help provide them with a well-plumbed privy in which to unleash their daily bog sausage? Under here are eight rockets producing three-quarters of a tonne of thrust. It'll blast off into space and end up in an orbit somewhere around Saturn. The world's first rocket-powered Kazi. NASA never tried this. OK, Brainiacs, lift off in several seconds. Scarpa! Time for the final checks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! The power of those eight rockets combined with the slightly pointy shape of the cubicle ensured a beautiful takeoff and airborne manoeuvres reminiscent of a drunken blue bottle in flight. Well, started off with a bit of a strain, a bit of a struggle, but then the pressure eased off and it followed through with a beautiful pair of curled movements. Absolutely wonderful. And he certainly seems relaxed in there. The results, please. So, when man finally has a nice relaxing poo on Uranus, you can't say that the Brainiac rocket scientists didn't have a bit to do with that. Take that to NASA.